welcome everybody. It is International Stress Awareness Day here, 2017. And I'm your host, Daniel Sachs. I'm a conscious self-care expert, uh, motivational speaker, and author of the book, Shifting Out of Chronic Stress, which is, of course, a topic of today's interview too. I have a very special guest for you here now. And the theme of this year is to speak up and speak out about stress. And I believe that the person that I'm going to talk to now that you are going you know, to have here is um, a very special man and a man with a mission. I have here for you next to me, Dr. Frank King. And Dr. King uh, founded a large integrative, like a health center already in the year 1990. 1979 i believe hey. <laughs> uh, which is which is you know a, a while a while ago and with his team they made a, a lot of breakthroughs i read in the natural and the innovative healing world and that is how you find founded king bio in 1989 and he is dr frank is also a doctor in the chiropractic uh, world and the neuropathic naturopathic daughter a uh, doctor sorry he shares all his experience with us, with passion and everything about natural health in a very authentic way. So welcome, Dr. Frank King. Thank, thank you, Danielle. It's such an honor to be connected. Thank you. Is there anything to the introduction about you that you wanted to add yourself? Because I know, for example, that your big word is empowerment. Is there any introduction? Because I'm, you have so many companies and so many projects. So is there anything you would like the audience to know about you else than what I said? Well, just that, you know, as you said, Daniel, we've been doing this for over 40 years, mm -hmm. uh, being very eclectic, being holistic, if you will, uh, mm -hmm. integrative. And through that process, obviously, we find stress to be a a factor whether it's conscious or unconscious that is affecting at least 80 percent of the population's health whether they know it or not and so it's been a, a major factor where we screened all of our patients uh in relation to stress yes both for acute stress as well as checking for adrenal fatigue yes through raglan's blood pressure tests and other tests that we would see these negative effects of stress. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's affecting 80% of the population. So it's pretty much safe. We've developed some techniques that are all natural, that we love sharing for free, that will have a download for everyone, all yes. the listeners, to be able to pick up these natural healing techniques yes. that we found that have proven themselves over that test of time of 40 plus years yes. uh, to help our patients the most. So we have that and we've developed a lot of natural products a number of natural products and many of these deal with stress that we'll also talk about today yeah. wow now what i would like to ask you first before we tackle into you know the, the the real thing is a more personal question because how did you get so involved in stress what what was it personally or professionally that stress in your life got such a big meaning or health whatever you know it's the antidote health or stress what exactly motivated you to go into the world of natural healing against stress well i think daniel just like so many people that got into natural healing mm -hmm. uh, and that have what i would call a that inner call for, yes. to heal uh, to help others uh, done so through personal challenges. You know, mm. I was very sickly as a child. Yes. Uh, in my mid 60s now, you know, I am the healthiest I've ever been. Wow. And it's like an ongoing peeling away of the onion, so to speak, yes. now, of, of discovering more about the values and the qualities of life and health that uh, we discover. And so going through these challenges, they, had, they thought I had leukemia when I was five years oh. old. You know, they, I was so sickly. Uh, and uh, going, and my, my mother, after hearing that, took me to this doctor uh, in a trailer park of all places wow. with a, and we're here in the US, and this is a doctor that came from 
I think it was this Eastern European accent, you know, but I just remember he took my favorite vegetable away with ketchup. <laughs> And he found we had food allergies and began working with me. And I was always the weakest kid, the nervous child. Okay. The, uh, you know, the easily stressed. Yes. And now I thrive on stress. I, we can make stress a good thing. It yeah. It can be that wonderful, titillating thing that leads you to solutions like we yes. have found. Yes. I see that. Now, um, how, you know, when, when you look at it, what was your first um, discovery about stress? What did you first discover about stress? Oh my, I think it was way back in the 70s when I began my journey into natural healing, always stress was a logical factor to it. Yes. Deal with. And so it was something, and as, as a healer, I started coming out, I started lecturing, I started doing things in front of people which was a big stretch was uh, mm. and so I've learned to I think personally overcome stress at many levels you know from my illnesses as a child to challenges throughout uh, you know my life and learn to face stress and, and use that as that stimulus that uh, yes. we turn stress into a good thing we turn those stumbling blocks into stepping stones, stones. you know yes. and we take uh, and, and apply stress and use stress for what it's doing. If, mm. if something is stressing us, it should lead us to finding that solution. Yes. And when we do, we become not overcome, but we become the overcomer, if yes. you will. That, uh, and, and that's a wonderful thing. And, and, mm. when, and people that have overcome health problems are the most qualified to help others overcome those health problems. I recognize that it, it, it is true when we overcome all these challenges ourselves we we discover tools and techniques and ways on how to deal with it and that's how we help others now yeah. this year talking about stress um i believe you are you know in your mid 60s but is there is there something uh, a moment in your life that you really wanted to talk about it speak up and talk about it is the you know is that been also a part of your healing process or was it more therapy in in products kind of way or has it also been important to talk about it yeah i, I really never uh i think it's overcoming it you know uh, mm. i was bused to an inner city school i was raised on a farm in this little zip code mm took me in the 60s here in the US when it was the peak of the riots where blacks were beginning to uh, under, to gain their freedom. And yes. with that, there was some aggressions, yes. a lot of aggressions. And so I was bused to a school where there was myself and one other white child in the class. Wow. So I really learned to, and I appreciate that so much, learn what it's like to be a, a, a minority that is oppressed. Yes. Um, and and through that, I, you know, it's, it's learned instead of just laying down and giving up, you know, I became, mm -hmm. for example, uh, uh, this uh, boxer. And uh, my parents had a, a restaurant and a bar there. And this guy that delivered beer to the bar was a, a Golden Gloves boxing trainer. Wow. And he, I, he threw some throwing me in with ringers and sipping all my food through a straw for about two months. He decided to take me on for my wow. will to want to do this. And, and that's how I became a Golden Gloves champion. And then all of a sudden, I, you know, those problems of being picked on every day and my lunch money taken away was gone. And yes. uh, so I think having this inner desire to address face problems and deal with them was the break, personal breakthrough that wow. I had experienced. Oh, wow. And what is your most natural thing for you to, about, uh, against stress? What is your, if you would, you know, talk about stress and say, if there's one thing that you can do about stress, what would it be for you? I think it's all about that to tell people that you can overcome stress. 
that just you don't stress is not something that oh should overcome you. Mm. It is something you should overcome. Mm. And you and we have the tools uh, with the natural healing techniques that we're sharing freely to people as our give back, as well as natural healing uh, remedies. Yes, and are very very important. And yes. uh, my favorite is our stress control formula. Okay. And this is we might most people may have heard of rescue remedy. Yes. Uh, and the rescue remedy has these five flowers in it. Mm -hmm. But this has those five flowers, plus it has 19 other homeopathic active ingredients that wow. are very specific to every type of stress you can imagine, physical mm -hmm. stress even. I burnt my finger on the grill this summer, and it took the blisters right away, and right. it healed up beautifully within wow. you know, minutes. Uh, to you know, the stress for the whole family, for all mm. members of the family. You know, uh, it is a great remedy uh, to help us process stress positively. Mm. So it's the most complete remedy to deal with stress. And so I recommend it. Uh, this is it. Uh, mm. in the, and basically, this stress control formula is, has a 24 active ingredients. Wow. So it's and it's made in three different higher potencies to provide so three times uh, twenty four that's seventy two individually made ingredients to really have this amazingly time tested uh, broad spectrum mm. uh, stress formula that helps us process stress positively. Yes, and that's the real key. Yes. Uh, you know to deal because we all deal with stress, but yes. how we process it and this equips inner inwardly our bodies to positively mm. process that stress wow thank you for that and i i believe you are also a, a fan of a, a, a animal lover they call it i believe in english you you even have you know things for stress for for animals or what about stress and and animals I, I don't really want to talk about the product but rather how do you see stress yes. In animals, are they stressed in a different way than us, or is that because that's quite an they interesting are. question? Yes, animals are are almost like the sacrificial helpers for us. Mm. They absorb stress. If the animal is stressed, and I work with a lot of veterinarians as well, is it? that use mm. our products. And if the animals are stressed, <clears throat> they always see that there's stress in the family. Yes, you know. Just yes, like I agree. Just with the parents, even though they think they're hiding it, the kids know. Yes. The kids feel it. You know, so do the pets. They actually absorb it. And so when we the, when we see stressed animals, we need to address that. And yes. uh, so it's a simple thing where you pour it in their water bowl once a day, yes. and every time they get a drink, they get a dose uh, of the similar type stress formula mm. that helps them positively process wow. stress works very quickly uh, and, uh, it, and I'm glad you talk about it Dr. King because talking about the fact that one person who is stressed can influence the whole family and actually the vibration goes to the small children to the pets to the that is actually quite an interesting thing because that's why we are doing the stress summit that people even at home should talk about how they feel and what is going on because then the others are not picking up that same you know vibration then at least we can talk about it and we can you know the the tension will be less do you agree that it would be important to in a family to talk about stress always and not only just talk about it but give them tools that where they can mm. work on our family we are all hands-on and we teach and that's one of the essentials in my book uh, yes. called The Healing Revolution. Oh, it's yes. all about the eighth essential of the eight essentials is hands-on healing. You know, we all know if in the oral orphanages, if children mm. are, maybe are not touched and handled uh, enough, there's failure to thrive and they can even die. Yes. And so we all need touch. We all need, yes. and that's the hands-on healing techniques that we teach. Uh, is something that every family can be very proactive with and improve the wow. quality of their lives as a family and help unite, you know, the quality of a family. Wow. Uh, as well as live 
in peace, you know, and, and have more joy in their family. Uh, yeah. That's what these remedies and these healing techniques are really all about. Can, can you even do them with small children or with babies? Is, is, yes, is all that definitely. because because we project our stress to to our yeah. But I mean the, the healing techniques with the hands and the, can you do them on your on your children and your and your pets uh, and, and your yourself pets. and uh, okay. you know, yourself like we say you know you we get you get de-stressed then you can now better help your family too and and that's how we you know really encourage this and uh, to and really empower people because the tools and the techniques and the products are there for us. Yes to really take back control over stress. And uh, I want to talk to you again about, because I was interested when you were talking about awareness, that so many people are not aware. Yes. What could you say to the audience of people who are, the fact that they are listening is already a good sign that, you know, that they are you know, getting more awareness about all this happening. But what about awareness? Is there something about awareness that you could, say to the audience oh my um it, it is you know when you take a product like this you will notice and use these techniques everyone should do it whether they think they're stressed or not because mm -hmm. just doing it for a week will tell you wow you'll feel the difference you'll know the difference you'll see the difference mm -hmm. so that this insidious thing of stress doesn't sneak up on us and, and, and it kind of robs the quality of life that we all have mm. the opportunity to live. Is there, is there one movement or one touch or something that you can show me here in, before the camera so that everybody can see what it's about or? Yes. Uh, here's a basic stress control formula. And what I'll do is I'm gonna spray it on my hand like this and there's stress receptors right here called neurovascular emotional this is for emotional stress yes and i finish my evening out and i put this right here and just just them down and i relax and do some circular breathing at night when i go to sleep and i just de-stress take away any of the negatives relive them you know how i do differently maybe mm. a more positive uh, yes. outcome where it wasn't one and uh, basically and i've shared this with my patients always and we've shared so many tears and so much happy tears yes. releasing emotional releasing. stress tears mm. uh when you start holding this and working and revisualizing some of this and it just takes maybe one maximum three minutes wow. uh, and you and it, and it just takes away the stress what wow. happens when we have a stressful shock it's like oh. mm. you know so you know it's like that's our instinct and so mm -hmm. we can just hold this position and any time during the day and you have been it's one of the number of techniques that we share mm. uh, yeah but it's that. nice to i like it when you know we can show one to the audience now um if if we are talking again about your personal life um, if you would have a, a stressful moment now and you wouldn't have your products, you wouldn't have anything, you yes. know, nearby, what would you do? How, what would you do to cope with the stress? I think, you know, doing the techniques, doing the products really, not only does it just take away stress, but it equips your body to be able to, like I said, positively process stress. So I find that we can, handle a lot more stress, stress I can today than I could 10 years ago, okay. 20 years ago. And it has progressively gotten bigger where I can actually feel confident about going out and taking on issues with the FDA and, and other forces that as we rise up in natural healing, we know we step on a lot of big toes out there in the world. Oh, yeah. I'm and, sure. uh, but it, now it's not such a, it's not a big deal. Mm. When I, if I was 30 years old, that's the challenges that I'm dealing with today would crush me. And I mm -hmm. think we develop this inner uh, containability within us over time, doing mm -hmm. these type of proactive techniques and, and remedies mm -hmm. that equips us 
to be able to deal with more on the outside. So yes. we have to have the right inner confidence, pressure to contain the pressures from the outside yes. so they don't crush us. Yes. Are you talking also about your self-image, your self-esteem, that you need need a certain strength there, an inner strength? To is, is that what you talk about? Yes. And it's kind of like stress, it makes us better. You know, my dad mm -hmm. told me, if it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Stronger. And, yeah, uh, I know that's true. Yeah. And so it's something about, you know, if, if we go without, gravity is a stress. And if we go without gravity in outer space you know, for just, you know, a day or two, we lose so much mm -hmm. of our calcium in our bones, you know, where we can't can handle yeah. the pressure when we come back to Earth. As very as easily and there's adaption that has to take place mm. you know, so this stress like you said we can make stress a good thing once we learn mm. how to control it and yes. we know that it doesn't have to overcome us yes I, I like that phrase that you said in the beginning about instead of it overcomes us from you know that we overcome it i mean yeah. that that is that that for me that's that's what i do every day so w with my people so i, I love you you say that now um, if if we would uh, going to close this this interview, and I would ask you, can you give me one sentence of wisdom? One sentence of wisdom that you would like, you know, it's, whether it's a quote or something that you always say to your people or or to your family. One sentence that would illustrate to speak up and speak out about stress. What would it be? Oh my! It's a difficult one. Me. Okay, that uh, stress stress is meant for everybody to overcome. Oh, okay. Can you explain? Certainly. That, you know, we all have unique and special stresses. And sometimes we think, oh, our situation is also special. Mm -hmm. But it's special for you, and that is true. And it's there for you, and it's almost like a training you exercise divinely, if you would, the universe yes. has prepared a, a special thing for you. And what you're facing is personal for you, yes, because it's exactly designed to help mm. strengthen and equip you to do greater things in this world. Wow, I like that. I love that. That is such a nice closure. You are a very special man. Thank you so much, Dr. King. Um, I would you are be able to woman. talk with you all day, but we need to we need to go here. And I just wanted to remind the audience that if they only saw a little piece of this video or they want to see other replays of videos, they can go to our website www.insad2017.com, and there you can watch all the replays, all the other experts. So. I am so thankful for your time and your, you know, it was so nice to talk to you, very interesting. And um, I hope to, you know, to talk to you again. And um, thank you so much for being there. I hope you, you enjoyed it too. Thank you, Danielle. And, and for that free gifts, you know, go to the Dr. D-R-K-I-N-G-S dot com forward slash stress. Okay, but I will, you know, people will know where to get it. We will, you know, we will let them know. Thank you very much. Thank bye you, bye. Daniel. Bye.